actual video when it uploads to YouTube. All right. Hi, everyone. I'm Von Art, and today I'm joined by my partner, Schwa, and he will be the moderator for today. Uh, welcome, welcome. I'm going to be doing a stream on how to draw worn metal textures. And as I like to get started, if you could put where you're watching from, we will be doing shout outs and then we will jump into it. Um, as, as we're waiting for people to put where they're watching from, I'm going to go ahead and light some candles in here. And if you weren't here for the last stream, I bought this citrine candle and basically there's a rock somewhere in the actual candle but you have to burn all the wax first to get to it. So I figured every time I stream, I would light the candle and eventually we'll get the citrine out of the candle. Ooh. But I can't cheat, so I can only do it when I'm on a uh, stream. Okay. Do you want me to get the little candle clipper? Oh yeah, you know what, I have one. Do you, oh, you do. Oh wait, where did I put it? Here. Ready for a very <laughs> bougie this so buy. Fancy. This clips the candle wick so that it will last longer. <laughs> Very bougie. But we like candles in this household, so we want them to last as long as possible. Oof. There's one candle. And I've, I've always loved these long black matchsticks. You don't burn yourself with them. Mm -mm. I always like the smoke. <laughs> Do you like that smell? Yeah. I don't know if I like that smell. Oh, really? Mm. I think I was saying on the last stream, I actually enjoy the smell. Oh, smell. Dear. It's like a campfire. But we have. <laughs> Josh is like dying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tiny Toad says watching from Minnesota. Our Hello. friendly neighbors. We have Matisse from. Ugh, keeps doing this to me. Greetings from Belgium. Obviously, we have Amy in Chicago. Oh, hey, Amy. Hello, hello. Dandy's watching from Connecticut. Um, Sunk comes from Turkey. Hyun's from Bristol, UK. Oh. All right. I always feel like I do this one wrong. Basil, right? Yeah. From Saudi Arabia. Hey, Basil. Mm-hmm. Hello, um, hello. Sarah Bear from Chile. We have John Kelly from Alabama. Madeline from the Netherlands. We have Jenna from South Dakota. We have VSBP from Brazil. Uh, we have DeBridge Effect from Colorado. <laughs> we have Glassy from Norway. I love Norway. Oh, yeah, you went there. I was, yeah, I went there for a while. I was in, um, oh my goodness. Where do they live? My sister married a guy from Norway. <laughs> I can't remember the name of the town they were from, though. Pocket Watch from Nashville. Oh, hey, Femme. Femme hey, from oh, Belgium. Femme. Oh, yeah. I think it's probably good to get outside and just take a walk. I see a lot of our neighbors doing that now, too. Just being stuck Wrong inside lockdown. all day. Yeah. Um, and today's tea is provided by, you have Cold Chaser, oh, and I yeah. have some unlabeled blue tea, so I don't know exactly what it is. Oh. Want to smell it? Uh, I was trying to ooh. figure out what it is. Ooh. <laughs> smells but like Josh a, has to have really Cold Chaser, because he's feeling a little under the weather. So cheers. Cheers. To officially bringing back the weekly Wednesday live stream, and I think we're going to keep these going for a long time, so... Yeah, here's the two new beginnings. And I'm drinking out of my mug that was crafted by my wonderful mods. Actually, this is way too hot for me right now. <laughs> I was going to say, Tim will leave his tea out all day and then drink it at the end of the day. I like a good lukewarm tea. Well, and sometimes too, he even leaves it steeping all day. I mean, I love tea, but I when it gets bitter like that, it's just... <laughs> ugh. But anyways, Amy... Oh, yeah, Amy was just asking if you could explain the vote command for people. Yes, so there's a couple things um, before we jump into the actual tutorial part. Uh, the first one is I have YouTube membership now. So for $2, you can use custom emojis. So schwa, if you click the join button below, uh, you will be able to use their six custom emojis. And then for every like five uh, members you get, you get a, to add another one. So I'm going to just keep adding emojis the more members we get. And when we hit 30, you see I have a goal below. 
I will do a member exclusive stream in which you guys get to pick what I draw and it will only be available to the members. So you can join below. Ah, shit, look at my little... Oh, what? Uh, oh, you got to Pikmin? <laughs> I love Pikmin. <laughs> Pikmin 3 is one of my favorite games. Uh, so yeah. Uh, the second thing was there's a poll going on because when Final Fantasy VII Remake comes out, I'm going to be drawing Cloud. So you can either vote for Happy Cloud, which would be the Final Fantasy VII retro version that I will be updating, or you draw Emo Cloud. And I'm not talking Advent Children, I'm talking more Kingdom Hearts. So those are the two options, and you can vote with either, what was it? I wrote it down, exclamation point one for Happy Cloud, or exclamation point two for Sad Cloud. We might have to test that, though. Shwa, can yeah. you do a quick... Do you think it's not going to let me since I did it before? Or... No, it's a different account. Oh, oh, that's right. I want to do... I'm voting for Happy Cloud. Does. We'll have Go to wait for the and underdog. see. <laughs> Either way, I know that people were able to figure out last time, since YouTube is still very, very new to me, I'm still figuring things out, so I will let you know as soon as I figure that out. <laughs> okay, uh, I think that was everything. Um, Tess is asking, is there captions? I know that's something um, we'll probably end up looking into eventually. Eventually, yeah. you can do live captions, but you have to get it all set up, so that's a good reminder for us to get that looked into a little bit more. Oh, Schwa, that is not how you vote. <laughs> That's not how I vote? No. If someone knows how to vote on YouTube, or at least for polls, Is I know it? 11 people apparently figured out on the last stream. So Let me just try. it's definitely possible. I thought it was vote one. I don't know. We'll figure that out. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump into the stream. Now, if you have any comments or questions during the stream, just put at Von Art, and that's what Josh is here today for. He will be helping Mod, and we will be basically answering any questions you guys might have, whether they be focused on uh, drawing questions or art questions or if they're more fun. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We're keeping these streams pretty open, but I will be pretty focused on the tutorial part of the stream since it's a my weekly Wednesday one. I want it to have a little bit more of a structured uh, stream uh, kind of a setting. So I'm going to keep it going that way. And I'm going to just jump into it. So today, we're going to be drawing a worn metal surface. Now, for those of you who are members, you can see there's actually a bell emoji. I, eventually, I want it to be where I hang this bell, like, slightly off screen. And then whenever we get another new member, I would literally go ahead and, like, ring it. <laughs> uh, something's still in the planning works. But I love this bell. We got this at Wizard Quest in Wisconsin Dells, and it has just a really good rustic-looking texture on it. I love things that are a little more ornate, a little body, and um, I like when it has that worn texture on top of being already kind of beautiful. I think that's why Bioshock really stood out to me, because they take this entire city that's really beautiful and Art Deco themed and blah blah blah, and then they like ruin it with um, the water damage and rust, and it has that, what's that green rust called? Um, you know what I'm talking about? I do. Well, it's like, isn't that usually like copper or anything? I don't Is know it copper? They... Or yeah, it copper, ages. whatever it's called, some kind of oxidization, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but I love the look of that. So I'm going to be explaining some things first. So I have my, my kind of crappy warm-up paper because I don't want to be wasting the mixed media paper because that those sheets are kind of expensive. Oh yeah, here it is. So the order in which I want to talk about things. So texture. Why is it important in why do I believe it adds so much more to a drawing than not adding like a, a worn type of a texture? So the example I'm going to show is, let's draw, draw a carrot. All right. Can you guys see this all right? Look, I like brighter on my screen. Well, actually, that kind of works. That works out, yeah. All right. So when people think carrot, it's probably something like this. You know what? I'll do. I'll do two. I'll do a carrot and an apple. But I'm going to make them look as boring and perfect as possible, because I think when people draw things blind, and I guess maybe this is a good stream to also say, you should be using references. Uh, oftentimes. Yeah, people can probably depict what this is, but it's so boring. <laughs> it adds no depth or character to it. There's no story elements. 
um, behind what you drew. If anything, to me, whenever something looks this perfect, it always felt like a uh, graphic or like a, a stamp of some kind. So let's go ahead and draw ones that are a little more interesting. Let me think of... I feel like you look at them every day because you're always eating a carrot or an apple. So. <laughs> I mean, true. <laughs> If I, if I don't know what a carrot looks like at this point. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could give some subtle shading to the perfect ones. My favorite video I have of you is Tim in the hot tub gnawing on a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when you got the, the munchies, you got to eat your carrot. <laughs> like, I usually go for the potato chips or the junk food. Tim grabs carrots. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Gleesey says it's called pat patina or patina or something like that. The rust. Patina? That's what the it's called? The green rust? Oh, weird. Patina. Well, that's strange. I honestly thought it was called something else. Oh, Fem figured it out. Okay, so that's officially how you vote. So you want to put exclamation point vote space either one or two. So Josh, try doing that and see if that works. Oh no, I, I did do that already. I got it, yeah. Because Fem, Fem started the, the trend then with it. So yeah, it's exclamation point, vote, and then the number. I don't think it worked though. Because it's still showing only 11. Oh. We're still learning things here yeah. on the YouTube Live. Let me see if I can figure out what the OBS site says. All right, while Josh is doing that, you can see how this carrot, you know, maybe I'll even zoom in a little bit. Well, it might not look as perfect as the first one in terms of being symmetrical and having there be like a balance. Not only does it read more like an actual root vegetable that was written up from the earth itself, but it has a, a characteristic to it. You can kind of see uh, how it grew underground. You can kind of see the little bumps and grooves that it has going down it. And that's why sometimes drawing people, it's a similar uh, mindset. You don't want to just draw someone that looks perfect. <gasps> well, I thank you, Anna Paddock, for becoming a member. See, this is, this is where I should have my little oh, yeah, bell. Yeah. And like... <laughs> so you get to ring the bell. Actually, now that you're a member, could every time someone comes a member, could you do the bell emoji? It's that very oh, last one. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll do the trick. There we go. Ring thank you, the thank bell. you. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's why whenever I draw anything that is organic, I try to make it look what would most people would consider ugly because I think there's so much more beauty in things that are considered ugly. And also, now that this could be applied to the first carrot as well, well, when working in pencil, we have contrast and value to pretty much work with the most. So this is a good example where I would probably have a heavy kind of darker value and then have a gradation into a pure white on the tip. And a little trick that I like to do, well, I thank you, Belly Mouth, for becoming a subscriber. Belly Mouth. <laughs> that is a name. Uh, my little trick is to add just a very subtle value, like a 2 out of 10, around areas that are pure white in my drawing. And that way it makes them stand out even more. And that's because of the level of contrast that you're showing. My hands are a little oily, so I usually don't want to rub graphite because then it'll just look a hot mess. Yeah, I feel like my chair arm is like in a weird spot. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> oh, because it sits under the, the desk. Oh, yeah. And I just don't want it to knock your elbow. And actually, quick, uh, what's, what's that called? Not a PSA. Quick announcement? Uh, that sounds lame. Um, but Josh is starting his own YouTube channel. It's called Schwa Plays Games. You can find it by typing that in, and he's going to start with Animal Crossing, which comes out this weekend. I believe the first stream is Friday. Yeah. Friday. And yeah. then I will be joining Josh on Saturday with my own little Animal Crossing town. So if you want to play Animal Crossing with us, or at least watch us play <laughs> Animal Crossing, because <laughs> I don't know what's the limit on how many people can come visit your town at one time. 
Um, it's eight people. Eight right people. Now. Yeah. Okay. So maybe um, you would have like a members only visit for a little bit. Yeah. Or something. Well, I'll figure that out. But essentially, do I'll be visiting people's towns, giving little reviews of them. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna yeah, be like good Nintendo time. doesn't even realize how much of a home run that this launch window was for them with oh Animal Crossing. Oh my gosh! Yeah, everyone's because stuck everyone's inside. home. Everyone's on lockdown. <laughs> So this is like perfect. Okay, so that's my carrot. You can definitely see it has more of a, a look to it than the first one. And then for an apple, actually, I want to look up. I wonder if I type in weird apple. Oh, oh, my God. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it's like that. In, oh, my God. Oh, things I've never Googled before. Uh. uh they took it very literally when you, you know what? I'm just apple. gonna type apple. <laughs> oh no, these are too perfect. It's kind of sad that when you type apple, the first thing that pops up is the apple apple logo, logo from no. Macintosh. <laughs> That's marketing for you. <laughs> Poor apples. All right, this is the one I'm gonna do though. So for an apple, and I'm gonna actually make mine even look a little more misshapen as well. Um, and then when we have a second, let's just take a look at your poll settings because you should actually have it listed in there how to vote for it. Oh, really? It should have something there, yeah, that we can know for sure. Then you know what? Well, because it's kind of a nightmare to get. Well, oh, is it? Uh... Is it the one in OBS or no? No. Okay. I really should download the OBS Streamlabs thing. That way we're consistent. We can help each other. Oh, yeah. But for the stream tomorrow, because I'm having one tomorrow, if you guys want to come join that. Oh, that's what I meant to... Same again. I know I forgot something. Uh, we have a stream. Well, Josh won't be with me the next two ones. He'll be here every Wednesday, though, for sure. And then Josh will be with me on the, the Monday stream, in which we're live streaming Golding. Leaf, gold Leafing <laughs> 10. I'm like, man, that was a mouthful in my head. I'm like, just say it. 10 of them? Technically 11, right? Because we're doing the Will and Youth one also. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to be live 11. streaming doing 11 Gold Leafing. Uh, canvases and we're gonna be doing it in the back room because there's more room obviously and it'll probably be a longer stream so if you want to just come and chat we'll probably make it more fun and loose and probably talk about Animal Crossing I'm sure oh yeah uh, that is on Monday tomorrow I'm doing a stream on how to draw a mermaid I'm I have a commission for Amy who's actually in the chat and I'm gonna be starting uh, to pencil hers tomorrow and I'm gonna be talking about the different elements that a uh, mermaid has and things that I always try to include when I'm drawing a mermaid and then on Friday, I'm going to be drawing my uh, my king of hearts. He is ready to be penciled, and he's my last one in the, the heart family. So I'm going to be doing uh, a stream kind of showing how I did the, the drawing uh, traditionally before I do the mirror flip. And I can kind of talk about how to make a card deck, what has been the setbacks in making one, what have I learned from it, and then if any of you are interested in making your own, I can kind of help you guys out with that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Pixel Cactus says, to be honest, an artist search history is the weirdest thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, definitely. Uh, I, anytime I need to strong. draw a child, I get so nervous Googling anything because I'm like, great, on my search history, it's going to be like child in profile. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's not really what I need to be on my search history. <laughs> Goes from Apple to uh, mermaid stabbing himself. <laughs> yeah, mermaid stabbing himself, <laughs> child in profile pose. Apple. <laughs> <laughs> and it would be like, I need a back muscles, no clothes. <laughs> like just really awkward things that, you know, when you're an artist, you gotta get those specific references. But yeah, Amy's mermaid idea is actually really cool. And the concept looks really cool, too. So I'm excited for you to be able to work on that some more. It was a good idea, Amy. I mean, I'm pretty excited about it. I mean, it, it's gaudy in the sense that it's, like, over the top. Like, very, very long hair. There's emotion. There's a lot of pearls. There's pendants. The the fin has that Fantasia goldfish look to it. So I, I'm excited to do it. I just know it'll take me a little bit. But that's kind of the fun of it because then when you finish, you know, you have a, you know, a finished result that you can be pretty proud of. Hmm. Oh, Corey. Hey, Corey. Um, Corey, hey, Corey says, will there be a Kingdom Hearts reference in the King of Hearts card? Ah! Ooh. Oh, actually, <laughs> you know what? I should totally do that. <laughs> I'm going to write that down, though, or else I'll forget. <laughs> That's a, actually a really good idea. 
It'll be our little secret, though. I'll throw in the little crown that's on um, Sora. Uh, I'll throw that in there. Or, no, 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 I'll do the heart that is the Kingdom Hearts logo. I'll throw that somewhere in there. Or but you, but just make the it. King of Hearts. Sora. <laughs> oh my god, it's just make it Donald. It's Donald Duck. <laughs> I mean, I'm There's not There's all these, like, that. decadent cards, and they're just like... <laughs> then also you get to King of Hearts and just Donald Duck. <laughs> I mean, I could make Donald look pretty regal. <laughs> I could have him, like, all fluffed up in, like, a crown, his feathers all manicured. <laughs> Corey's all about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, this one has a, a not as big of a jump difference as the carrot, but I want to show that even small things like adding more leaves to the stem, that's something that's a bit more unusual, things that you don't see. So... Whenever I draw basically anything, like I said earlier, that's organic, try to take the extra step to not go the first thought that you have in your head. And Google it, and not just Google first image, but I'm talking like, and not even Google, I would honestly use Pinterest. I would Pinterest and then like scroll down. Find something that is peculiar, that catches your eye, and that is the reference that I think you should use uh, more than the first one that you find. So yeah, and I just believe this adds so much more character and story. And we'll talk about that more as we get into the metal part. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna be drawing the bell. And you know what? When I think bell, the first thing that comes to my mind besides Beauty and the Beast is a bell that looks like this. It's very, uh, very much a Liberty Bell. You know, very normal. You know, it doesn't have a lot to it, but to me, this is what a lot of people might go to as like their first instinct. Not maybe so much this giant boy. So I'm gonna be showing the difference between that and this. I'm gonna set him up on my desk. And I'm gonna even draw the little string that came with it. It's a cute little bell. It is a cute little bell. You know what, I guess I can work on this paper. I feel like the stream's more of a fun, um, quick sketch, not like a fully realized drawing. Okay, so yes, this to this, this to this, and then this, to, I'm gonna draw it much bigger though. So I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing this bell. As I'm doing this, if you guys have any questions about it, uh, I might take a little bit doing the preliminary sketch. But I guess you guys can kind of see how I draw something from start to finish in terms of, uh, I mean, this, the scale is much smaller. But usually I do like a rough sketch of it first. And I, I have a problem of jumping into drawing it before fully realizing the proportions, especially with characters. And I think that's one of my downfalls is I need to plan more especially with pose and proportion, because that's where things can become a little static looking. So just know I'm fully aware that uh, I have my faults that I need to work on and continue to get better. But I think it's good to recognize what you're maybe not so great at, but then also take the steps to work on it. But I also don't believe that you should just push things that you are that are just completely out of your element in terms of like having fun with because I will probably never be a sci-fi fantasy hard surface concept artist ever in my life and I feel that since I, I really don't enjoy drawing it it's something that gives me <laughs> I was gonna say death but I was like well what's the opposite of life because things that give me life are like uh, fantasy concepts or texture or organic materials the things that give me death would literally be like a sci-fi spaceship, <laughs> um, a fully realized cityscape, oh, oh. just things that I would dread drawing. And I think that's okay. If you have some things that you just are going to probably never draw, I know that's probably very strange me saying that because, you know, artists are always like, oh, you should explore your, what you're not comfortable with. But I think you should explore what you're not comfortable with within what actually gives you interest what you're genuinely attracted to so for me when i'm drawing people i love drawing people i love drawing characters there are weaknesses i have in that scope that those i can attack and work on 
And one of them is perspective. Uh, definitely have like interesting feet positions, which sounds kind of strange, but I really like drawing hands. But my feet are usually pretty kind of static looking, and that's something I need to work on more. So th that I'll work on more than uh, attempting to make my sci-fi vehicle look better. The collector, but with feet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call it fetish. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> Dandy says, I think of the little ones with the handle. I don't know if I know what the little ones is. I don't, I don't know what the little ones is either. Is it just spelled little ones? Yeah. The little ones. Oh, are you just talking about like the little, little bells? Oh yeah. Like the little, um, we have, let's see. <laughs> EM says every time I see them, their hair is new. <laughs> Another what? I said every time I see them, their hair is new. I don't know if it's our hair, probably. Oh, maybe, because yeah, yours is not black. And you have, well, you had the bleach blonde hair for a while, too. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> I called it the mistake. <laughs> yours actually looked good. Your white hair looked good. Oliver says, is it okay if I share my Instagram here? Yeah, of course. This is a stream for artists to collaborate and commemorate. Commemorate? No, not commemorating. We're not commemorating right? anything. No. <laughs> Com What's it called when a mass gathering they collaborate? Sometimes I make up words and they sound right to me, but I know they're not real. Oh my god, I can't speak sometimes. Commemorate? I was a speech therapy kid, all right? So <laughs> it still comes out. I know where you con conglomerate. See what I mean? You know what I'm, I'm trying to say. Oh my gosh. Um, so really quick, I'm just going to do the outline of the belt before I add any texture. So you can kind of see what it looks like before we dive into adding a bunch of texture and give it that metal look. Con conglomerate. Conglomerate. Yes. I got the dictionary pulled up. No, that's not it. Yeah, it's a number of different things or parts that are put or grouped together to form a whole but remain distinct entities. Isn't that what we all are? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> the Earth is a specialized conglomerate of organisms. <laughs> Maybe I'm going crazy. I feel like there's a word for it, though. Conglomerate. <laughs> As I like, refuse to admit that that's the word. Just accept it. It's kind of like uh, one night, me and my friend were trying to figure out um, the principle of the matter. We could not remember the word principle, so we're like, the blank of the thing, the blank of the matter. That was a nightmare. I like literally called people. I called my friend uh, Kat and Sean, and actually Kat was the one that figured it out. <laughs> and then this is the little string that the bell hangs on, so I'm going to be drawing that as well here today. Oh, hello, Buckstust. There's a big hello. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> so usually when I'm sketching things, you can see how I'm not really going for the details. I'm just getting an outline first. I feel with pencil art, it's so much easier to have an outline and then kind of do a fill by numbers type routine of filling it in then. But having it all laid out in front of me first helps uh, so that my mind can then focus purely on rendering and not so much on proportion and uh, setting up the, the outline stage. I wonder if the lines, how the, the indents, they're not like sectioned out evenly. I wonder if it helps with the sound it makes. What do you mean? These? Yeah, like I wonder if how where they're set at, if that helps the oh, sound. Oh, I'm, I'm sure that's aesthetic. <laughs> I don't know. I think it helps the sound out. <laughs> I think it gives it a different, a different dog. <laughs> uh, well, okay. Just, we're conglomerating right now. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that, I know that's not... Maybe it is the word. I'm still in denial. <laughs> okay. I got to draw all these little... On the bell, there's all these little grooves at the top. So that's what I'm trying to draw right now.
<laughs> Murdoch says it's funny that I'm listening to you guys and working in origami at the same time. Are you really? That's awesome. Oh, that's cool. You should share what you're working on or yeah, when you finish. Totally. Actually, our Discord is here too because we actually have places too that you can just share your progress on those kind of things too. Because origami is super cool to look at. And that takes so much time. Did you ever do it as a kid? Um, a little bit. I wasn't the craftiest kid. But now I'm getting all into crochet. I tried knitting for a bit, but I feel like... I feel like crochet is nice because you feel you get a result quicker. Yeah. So you feel like you're going somewhere. But I would like to get into knitting, too. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a bit more on that. <laughs> Pocket Watch says, writers deal with this constantly. The sources are amazing. Right? You just you think you know a word, and then it just... That data bank in your brain can't pull it out. <laughs> There's too much other things up there. Okay, perfect. So this is my rough outline of the bell, and I'm working with a 2H pencil. I try not to work dark because if I needed to, I could easily erase part of this, and it'll lift the graphite up. If I worked with a darker pencil, it might be kind of... I, I call it staining the paper, and I don't want to be doing that with... Uh, such an early stage of the drawing. Okay, so as you can see, this is a fairly, you know, somewhat more interesting bell than the first one, but we're gonna make it way more interesting even from here. So I'm gonna do a first rough pass where I'm kind of laying in the values and then we'll slowly work up the texture. I always try to save the highlights and the final details for the final stage. So I'm not gonna be going in and adding my individual scratches yet. I usually like to do line art and then values and then add texture, detail, highlight stuff. So let's go ahead and round out this bell. Uh, Dandy says, I keep start, I keep starting pencil drawings and not planning anything out and then going in too dark too soon and it's just a mess. I feel you. Yeah, and I, I think that's why I've conditioned myself to only start with 2H pencils. And usually that'll give me the result I want before I add in the dark values. So then when I add in the darker values, it really makes the drawing pop because I, I laid in um, these lighter values and created this entire drawing with just a 2H. That when you lay in the like HB or 2B or even as dark as like a 9B, it really makes your darks pop, like really, really, really makes them pop. Oh, well, thank you, Julie Double X, for subscribing. <laughs> Bookstuff says, is that a bell or a grenade? <laughs> <laughs> um, a bell. Both. No. <laughs> it lets you know what's coming. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, Danny says I go by Bell on Discord, actually. Oh, we're like, well, this that. is an honor if you had. Actually, babe, that's such a great weapon idea. What? A bell grenade. <laughs> I mean... I should create a concept for that. Like, this little character, that he's so arrogant that he, like, hits his target every time that he throws <laughs> a, a bell, bell grenade. grenade. <laughs> or I wonder if it's so distracting, like, hearing this weird ringing, that by the time they figure out it's a grenade, it's already landed. I mean, especially if it was like a cowbell or something weird. Just something so ridiculous. Something so ridiculous. Um, really quick. So as I'm laying in the values, I'm not going to be going into the grooves. And that's what will give the illusion of a depth. And that's what will make it look like it's pushed in. So you'll see as I add in more of this value here, how it'll do that. And since each of the grooves on the bell, it's not like a flat surface here. It's a very you know, rounded out curve. So on each part of the, in between the little sections here, I'm gonna make it a little darker near where it's pushed in, and then a little lighter in the middle. So now I'm starting to focus on creating depth. And this is the best way uh, that I've learned to make depth is literally just pillow shade things. So lighter in the center and then darker as you get near the end. Sometimes this can be a problem because it can forego realistic lighting and it kind of creates this uh, strange lighting scenario where it doesn't feel real but it's rendered real and I feel like that's my playground that's where I typically draw the most in but if you do it uh, intentionally but it's supposed to be like a life drawing that's where it'll really look weird so you want to make sure that 
you you understand that if you pillow shade, it probably won't act realistic, but it'll look the realistic, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Matt. Oh, Bruder. Hello, hey, man. Matt is Amy's um, boy or husband. Husband, now, right? I believe husband. Oh, hello, Matt. <laughs> so he was also one of the RAs. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Does he have stories about you? Uh, no, I think Amy was in charge of Amy? my building. Okay. So she was the one that busted me for hiding beer when I was <laughs> 19 in my college dorm. <laughs> the one time Tim was a rebel. <laughs> the one time I drank alcohol, I got busted. Never done it again. <laughs> um, um, oh, Exilian, I feel like I should know who this is. Zero Exilian says, hey, Tim and Josh, long time no see. How are you? Hey. How's the live streams? Oh, that's right. Could you have a notepad open for... Oh, I do have a little thing. So if you want to be called something different than what your username is on here, if you want us to call you by your first name, for example, just put it in the comments and we will go ahead and uh, add it to this little list. And I usually, I know a lot of you guys from my past Twitch streams, but just so that Josh can get more familiar with you guys as well. Yeah. Especially names. Um... Oh yeah, my just says crocheting is so fun, especially once you get going. So this Crochet. is the, the unnamed, unlabeled blue tea that I found in our cabinet. <laughs> get out of here. Oh, here I... <laughs> the pure taste test. The notes, the high notes hit right, <laughs> but the low ones not quite so much. <laughs> um... A very earthy aftertaste with hints of the tip of a blueberry. <laughs> Just the tip of the Just blueberry. The no. um, yeah, yeah. Crocheting is super fun. I think it's one of those, it's just satisfying too because you get this mm -hmm. trance. I don't know if that's the same for drawing. Sometimes where you can just, I don't know if when you're, especially oh, when you're shading, I feel like. Um, yeah, you kind of just get in this trance. You don't really, your brain kind of just turns off and you just get focused on that one thing. <clears throat> Oh, something else I wanted to mention too, because I'm going to be streaming so often, uh, if you guys have suggestions on either tutorials or like a let's draw together, I think it'd be kind of cool if I put up, actually I could have even done it today with the bell, like put up a picture of the bell on our discord and then be like, Hey, I'm going to be drawing this live. If you want to draw the bell alongside me, we can draw it together. And that way, if you have questions while you're drawing it, I could even answer them. You could post your progress on the discord. And I could point out where you might be. Um, might need some help or uh, some adjustment, and then we could create a final product. So it's something that I used to do with uh, Concept Cookie way back in the day. It would be something that we would both draw together, and I, I really like those streams. So if there's something that you're really struggling drawing, I mean, it could be as something as simple as a hand. We could definitely have a let's draw hands together type live stream. So just let me know. Or I guess let Josh know. <laughs> that actually would be a lot of fun. Right? Well, then I feel like I could I could teach again, uh, and it doesn't have to be something super complicated where I have to make an entire tutorial, I have to record it, because I, I always enjoy live interaction teaching more than I do just posting a tutorial online. I think that's why, honestly, my YouTube is going to be mostly streams rather than pre-recorded tutorial. I mean, I still will do a lot of pre-recorded tutorial now that I'm on lockdown, but uh, I just, I like the interaction of live learning together because there's things that I pick up that I'm like oh man I was way wrong and then you guys end up teaching me as well so I do feel like there's a give and take there all right we have uh, books asked not sure someone asked this already but what type of paper do you use do you have one of your oh here it is so normally I work with this paper that Josh is going to show yeah so this is a Strathmore mixed media I like that it's thicker. It's a nine by 12 and it keeps a hold of it. Yes, I'll keep hold. You can see that it's thicker paper, so it won't scrunch on you. Because life drawing paper, which is typically considered drawing paper, uh, it crunches and it wrinkles. And if you accidentally per put a little too much pressure on the paper with your hand and wrist, that, that's gone. <laughs> that's why I've never liked those, uh, uh, those 
recommended drawing papers and I, I much prefer the mixed media ones but for something that's a little more simple and something that I know won't be like a grand gesture drawing and it'll be more of like a warm-up kind of like what we're doing today then I'll use this more loosey type paper I should also mention as I'm going in I forgot to say that I do a mixture of small circles when I want just a consistent gradation and then when I want there to be a bit more texture I usually do more of a cross hatch so since this one has so much texture included on the bell, I'm doing a mixture of cross hatching, and then where I just want a little bit of value being pushed, I'll small circles it. Well, that's a weird way to say it. I'll, I'll work in small circles. I'll basically create a nice soft gradation with my small circles, and then I'll do more of the hatching where I want it to be a little rougher because this bell has a lot of rough spots on it. And I, I want the bell to kind of read that it's worn, it's been used. Actually, this should be a little lower. We have definitely had a few comments on the the grenade bell also. Oh yeah, what? <laughs> bell, bell sounds while bombing seems cool, as Hank says. Fem says maybe you can play one of those ice cream truck sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Book stuff says, oh my god, please make the bell grenade thing. Just don't attach it to a call, please. Of course not. Oh no, yeah. of course not. And maybe he's just bombing, like, I don't know, he's throwing them in the water or something. The fish. <laughs> <laughs> no, not to fish either. Turn it. Where can he throw them? I don't know. I maybe don't, you can't oh, well. throw grenades without death following. Conglomerate. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Amy says, only I have that one story in uh, regards to Tim being in trouble at college. And she says, I know it's really sad that you got in trouble. Don't be you know, sad, Amy. Yeah, I was going to say. He needs to get in trouble once in a while. To be honest, I think, too kids, much. I was gonna say, I think kids need a good, you know, kick in the arse from some time to time. Because I feel like I did get away with a lot. Especially nowadays. I see some things that my niece and nephew get away with, or nieces and nephews that get away with. I'm like, oh. Hell no. I would not have been able to get away with that when I was a kid. Oh, okay. So, um, uh, Zero Auxilian is Renato. I'm adding you to the yes. list right now. I was wondering if you would remember or not. It's like, maybe it'll like... Honestly, the Twitch feels like so long ago now. I know, doesn't it? Yeah. I feel like I did it a lifetime ago. Well, I mean, the last one I think I did with you was in October... Yeah. You know, that was the last one. Oh, yeah. And me and Josh already talked about this. So these streams will most likely continue through until then because I feel like lockdown is forcing me to change my perspective on uh, how I make my money. And I, since I like doing online streams and since Josh is now going to be doing more streams as well, as much as cons were like 80 or like 70 to 80 percent of our focus, I think it's going to be pushed down to like 50 percent. And that way I want to keep doing at least the weekly Wednesday streams. I might not be doing them like four times a week like I am right now because, you know, lockdown and everything that's happening. But uh, for October streams, I think me and Josh want to dress up every week. And whatever the Drawtober prompt is, we'll kind of do like a little dressing up uh, for whatever it is. So, um, <gasps> actually, has... wait, really quick. Drawtober, one of the prompts are Hell's Bells. Oh, did I just oh. reveal that? <gasps> <laughs> that doesn't really matter. That doesn't matter. Uh, you, you got, you don't forget by that. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I could totally do the concept of this little cre minion creature that throws bells, but they're actually grenades. <laughs> Hell's bells. Right? Oh, oh my, my god. god. Okay, that's perfect. That is perfect. Um, oh, Murdoch put the origami stuff that they're working on. Oh, did they? Yeah. <gasps> Look at your little Astrid. Oh my god. That's actually really cute though. That's so good. And then there's this one too. That's like super intricate. Oh my gosh. Well, you're very talented with origami. Yeah, get out of here saying that I wish I could crochet. Like, don't be I'm jealous of you with your origami. Yeah. My extended origami was doing the little I did the swans. The little, no, what are those things where you want like do 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 do? Oh, <laughs> uh, what's it? Da, 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 da. And you picked a one. And then yeah, do it again. Yeah, then yeah. That was my. Wasn't there a rhyme that went with that? Why do I? I'm, I'm imagining. There, that. no, there was one. 
I'm blanking on everything today. This <laughs> quarantine is getting to me. <laughs> <laughs> Day three. Josh Day is already three. slowly I'm already losing, losing it. <laughs> um, Dandy says I'm crocheting my first blanket. And I was very surprised after a while. <clears throat> after a while, being able to go on autopilot and getting a bunch of bros done. Yeah, totally. You just watch the show and it's like, oh. At the end of the episode, I'm like, I just did three rows. That's pretty cool. Um, Shine's interested in the draw along. Actually, I, I a lot of people think... are into that. So I think that would be a good idea to do the, the draw along. Yeah, I like that idea. I think, I, I feel like the first one should be a let's draw a hand together. Because I feel like a lot of people are interested in that and oh, yeah. usually want to get better at drawing hands. Well, I think that's the cool part about live streaming too, is you have the ability to like include people in it. Mm-hmm. So that's where it's it's fun to do that. Can't do that with videos. Um, Fem says, I really like that one minute, five minute, 10 minute, 30 minute anatomy pose draw along stream from a couple months oh, ago. Oh, that's right. Did I ever tell you I did actually. this? Where I basically created and mocked my own life drawing session. So there's a website that has poses pre, um, basically pre-timed for you. And oh, they're like cool. they're like people they're not fully nude. Like you can pick fully nude, but I always do the closed ones obviously for uh, online. Yeah. And you can set timers for like 1 minute, 5 minute, 30 minute, whatever. And I basically did a light drawing session with everyone. That's pretty cool. And then like I showed the the picture of the body or whatever on the screen with me. So I guess I could block all this bottom left stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, so yeah, if you guys want to do a light way, drawing yeah. stream, I could totally set one of those up soon. You know what? I should invite Tyler to do it because me and him go to real life drawing every like once a month on Mondays. Maybe in the next coming weeks, I could have Tyler drive up and we'll do like a life drawing. Oh session. yeah, well especially because yeah, those are all being canceled right now too. Mm -hmm. So that'd be kind of a good way to get everyone together. Um, really quick, I'm just gonna good idea, point out that this is basically my step one of kind of putting my values down. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some values to the outside of the bell to make the contrast in the bell pop a bit more. And then I'm going to kind of do one cleanup and then I'll start focusing on details. But I'm not switching to a darker pencil yet. So stay tuned and you can keep asking questions. Um, <laughs> that's going to become an in <laughs> Rodok says this is that's going to become an inside joke conglomerate. Conglomerate. Is, right? Conglomerate can't forget that word conglomerate i'm just gonna say that on your streams <laughs> or are we conglomerating at the tree <laughs> or are we conglomerating at town hall in a way we are all conglomerating that word's probably the most like relatable <laughs> word for all of us oh, i don't like to think that i'm collaborating anywhere <laughs> <laughs> why does adding the ing just make it seem even that much worse <laughs> uh, can i open the window a little bit yeah it's getting toasty in here oh yeah and look you guys look at the plants i planted some beans oh, yeah. They're popping out. We have to grow our own food since we're in quarantine. <laughs> You're just going to eat three beans. <laughs> That'll sustain us for a week. Um, oh, much better. Uh, Femme says, maybe you, maybe you can't throw it without death following. I hope to age up and get as much wisdom as Tim has. Oh, he's <laughs> quoting you from earlier. Wait, what's the quote? You Maybe can't. you can't throw it without death following. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk with Tim. Real talk with Tim. With Kim. Um, Are your grenades also bells? <laughs> Let's talk about it. <laughs> the freaking the next live stream tagline. <laughs> Ted Talk featuring Tim Talks. <laughs> Tim Talks. Kim Talks. Team. Kim Talks. Kim. <laughs> A talk session with Kim. Conglomerate. Team. <laughs> On... Are your grenades bells or are your bells grenades? Death will follow. Death will follow. Either either one, death will follow. Okay. Um, <laughs> next comment. <laughs> um, sorry, the YouTube chat pops down. It's really weird. Gotta figure that out. I feel like with the live stream thingy, the separate thing, it has a separate chat thing in it. And that one might work easier. I don't know why the YouTube okay. chat's just really jumpy. 
Um, things that Belly, we're learning. We got to figure these things out. Belly Mouth says, college is a good lesson in freedom and humility needed to control it. College is a good lesson in freedom and the humility needed to control it. Hmm. That's a good way to rephrase it. TED Talk featuring uh, the community. <laughs> that is good. I like that. I never went to college, so I feel like I kind of just been freedom and no humility. <laughs> Huh. I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't like, maybe that will explain your sense of spending. <laughs> Wait, Just, what's debt? Jim, we're not going there in live stream. <laughs> don't. Go don't there. go there. Um, but yeah, I mean, in a sense, though, college is like the first time you actually get to like have freedom without parental control there. Mm-hmm. I mean, were were you a rebel? Well, I guess you didn't really go to your last part of high school either, right? Yeah, I was homeschooled, so. The worst thing I ever did in high school, I don't think I've even told you this, and I hope my parents aren't watching. <laughs> I don't think they know this. Um, okay, so first things first, we had a pool table in our basement, and each of the legs had like a flat bottom on them, and since my parents are so old, I mean, I was definitely an oops baby, I'm, or at least I'm pretty sure, but they won't admit it. Uh, so they would never bend down and look under the pool table. So that's where I hid all of my liquor that I would stash. I would put it under the pool table table on the legs because you could fit like three <laughs> bottles on each leg. <laughs> Anyways, um, they were gone on a weekend trip to visit my sister or something. And I invited a bunch of people over that I went to grade school with because we were having like a mini grade school reunion. And I invited some of my high school friends. But my uncle lives... Uh, basically on the street behind us at the time, Uncle Denny. And he drove past and saw all the cars, called my dad. Okay, my dad calls me. Mind you, I'm (laughs) mid-party. I'm like, no, we're not not having... What do you mean? Like, And I'm really bad at lying. And I'm like, I... What do you mean? I don't don't think there's people here. I was really bad. And uh, he threatened to drive home. And he... Uh, oh, no, because he wasn't visiting my sister because he was able to drive home. So he must have been within 20 minutes. So I'm frantically getting all my friends to leave the party and, like, park at the St. Luke's li- or the Lions Park that was near me, near my house. So all of us are trying to drive over so that we can still party. But I wanted it to make it look like there was no one home. So I was going to hide them in, like, the basement part of our basement so that they would just drive past, see there weren't cars, and then keep moving. Anyways... Uh, we decided that everyone was going to go home because this plan wasn't going to work. So then I parked my car in at Lions Park. And then on the way home, cops, I found out my uncle called the cops on me. Wait, what uncle is this? Uncle Denny. Oh my gosh. It was either Uncle Denny or Uncle Ben because my Uncle Ben also lives close by. Anyways, <laughs> the cops saw me running. So for like the next 10 minutes, I'm in this horrible a cat and mouse game with the cops with the flashlights i'm literally like hiding behind bushes sprinting behind houses and they're in their car with like the flashlight thing on me. oh my god Tim. <laughs> so i literally was like playing hide and go seek with the cops for 10 minutes the worst part is you know how they got me <laughs> the front door <laughs> no, 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 okay. no like an hour later i go back to get my car because it's still at lion's park I found out they were just waiting in the park with all the lights off, and they knew that eventually I would come back for my car. (laughs) New Berlin is such a nice town that the cops, like, had nothing better to do than just sit by your car and wait. (laughs) Oh, my God. So me, I think I was 19, me doing my, um, what's the drunken test called? Um, Well, just where they, like, make you walk straight. Yeah, do all the things. Do you know what I found out that night? Do you know when they say, or I think I already told you this, you know when they say, uh, say the alphabets backwards? Yeah. Do you know why they ask people that? No. Do you know they don't actually expect you to recite the alphabet backwards? They want you to say, because you're so drunk or inebriated, that you would say, I can't even do that sober. No. I swear to God. That's what they they told me. Yes. Because I mean... I've had... I've had them do that to me before, and I did it backwards. It took a while. But the one cop I had was nice because she was like, just do it from H backwards. Oh. oh. And I did it. Oh. 
And she didn't think I was drunk. I love how proud you are. I, I did it. I was able to recite backwards from H to A. <laughs> I did it, though. That was like, what, like 9 A B C D A B C D H G F E D C B A. I literally one at a time though because I was A B C D E F G H oh A B C D E F G in my head and then yeah. Well, she but probably could figure you it out. Dodge them in the bushes. Well, what was funnier is because I know that park you're talking about. Yeah. So I mean, it's not yeah. that long of a walk, but it's enough to like be terrifying. It, imagine frantic nineteen year old me like dead sprinting from bush to bush in like people's yards. I feel like they probably saw you the entire time and were just laughing. Just laughing. Like, we're going to just freak this kid out. He's not actually in trouble. Well, that was the best part is I wasn't even drunk. I wasn't even tipsy. So when they asked me to recite the alphabet backwards, guess who did the alphabet backwards slowly, obviously, because it took me a little bit. But oh, then they were like, all. yes. But then at the end, they're like, just so you know, we know that you're sober, but usually we only ask people that so that they say they can't even do it sober. <laughs> And I was like, oh my God, is that, I, I feel like I got to see behind the veil. I was like, oh, I know how things oh work. God. Yeah, no, I was homeschooled, so I really didn't have like any crazy, I mean, I started smoking cigarettes, which was a bad habit, but yeah. I was sneaking those for a while. That's still bad. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Tame in the bushes. Spurs, like dead sprinting, minor sweat because I'm so nervous. So I literally like, run to one of my neighbor's bush and like, <laughs> <laughs> like dodge, like jump dodge behind it and like wait and see if there's any flashlights or anything. And then like get ready, like get in my like track stance and then sprint to the next. Oh my bush. god! Yeah. Well, you love video games enough too. You're probably like. Felt like you were really cool. I was like, I wonder yeah, what my stamina yeah. bar is. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, the cops like see your face through the bush and they have the light on it. <laughs> Meanwhile, the cops have like popcorn. And they're like, oh man, this kid. <laughs> <good." laughs> uh, anyways, anyways. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes I ramble off topic. Oh, hey, Candor. Candor, how are we doing? We're doing really good. I just learned some things about Tim right now. So, <laughs> other than that, I was a pretty good kid, though. I would say, your family's not really told me. I mean, I've asked your mom, too. There's just not too many, like, just Tim being out. No, I was a good kid. Mean. I mean, to be honest, even when I hid the liquor on in the pool table, it was literally when me and my friends, my three friends at the time, they would come over, we'd play rock band, and we would slip some of the drink into our vanilla Coke. Oh, yeah, they're cool. <laughs> we were number two in the world on the rock band song, uh, Move Along by All American Rejects. <laughs> I'm still pretty proud of that moment. I like that's took a, a picture. Deal. Yeah, because they showed me that that's like we a number two in the world. Yeah. yeah, that's a huge deal. I was the drummer. I'm still proud of that. But look what Stardom does to you and has you running through bushes. <laughs> I could not handle fame at that time. <laughs> <laughs> it was too much. It was too much. <laughs> Anyways. Um, okay. Hang on, comments. Um, uh, Ast oh, there's an Astrid in chat. Astrid oh, says, hey, where Astrid. do you guys live? Not to be stalker, just general area. We live... Waukesha, Wisconsin, kind of near the center, near where the old gold gym <laughs> used to be. You can find us at this yellow house. I'll send you the address. And we don't lock our door. <laughs> <laughs> um... Hang on. Oh, Lacey asked, will you post a reference of the bell for us to give it a go after the stream? Oh, yeah. I guess Actually, I could, Josh, I could do one really quick. Yeah, if you want to leave it just there, even that's fine. Oh, yeah. Because I'm using my phone as the, the video camera. Tell me what you think. Is that a good reference? Uh, and actually, always do square. I'm always a fan of square. Oh, God. Hang on. This new phone. They have it in a weird spot, remember? Oh, yeah. Square. Okay. Ugh, that's so tiny. There you go. Bam. Okay. Thank you, Shua. I'll be posting the square in the family room on Discord. Okay, I'm going to quickly mention something. Right here, I can already tell I'm going to have a lot of fun in this area because I love contrast, especially with graphite. The main thing we have to work with to separate forms is contrast. So, 
I'm going to do my best to not overdraw it right now because I know when I get a darker pencil, I'm going to edge that out like crazy because that'll be really fun to work with. And I'm almost getting to the point where I can start working with a darker pencil here. But you can see how, I mean, shading is very therapeutic for me. I can just keep going and going and going. Um, but with a softer pencil, eventually you get to a point where, or a, a harder pencil, sorry, because 2H means, the H stands for hardness, and or that it's hard. And it'll be a lighter end result. So I try to avoid working with B pencils too early, but with the H, eventually you get to a point where it just won't go too much darker. And you'll see the difference when we start adding the, the B pencils. Um, you know what? I, sh I should have posted a picture of the bell before I started. No, it's yeah. Next I, time. Next time. I'm getting back into the swing of things. Uh, all right. Glacey says religions, religious bells can often signal death. Oh, yeah, like, you know, funerals sometimes they do the bells. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or what is it when um, the Pope dies? Bells. <laughs> bells. <laughs> do they do bells for that too? Or isn't there something when a new Pope is elected? I feel like there's a tradition that happens. Maybe I'm like glamorizing in my head like they're releasing doves and... <laughs> they just ring bells in their ears. Rose petals everywhere. <laughs> um, Luca, hello. Hey Luca, how are you doing? Don't worry, you're not late. There's still a whole nother hour left. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. Oh, I got another hour to detail this bell? Woo! Hey! Oh, I'm excited. Just me one nicely detailed bell. It will be the bomb. <laughs> wow, look, now you can see it, and it's a thing. Yeah. Inside um, joke. That's between us. <laughs> That's us, guys. Just for us. Oh, hey, Sai. How's it going? Hello. Welcome. I played League the other night with Sai, and it was... I'm saying it right. See? Is it C or Psy? We'll have to voice chat it and clarify that. But I know I haven't had, played League in a little bit. <laughs> we played three matches. We lost all three. This is my first time ever playing with him. And then we won the last one, the fourth game. Oh. Well, maybe it's if you guys want good. to play a game later tonight. Oh, yeah. I mean, I haven't played League in a few days now. I feel like I got all this built-up aggression, and the only way to take it out was on League of Legends. We'll see how I'm feeling, because I'm my first streams tomorrow, so I kind of go into, like, panic perfection mode but i should be okay by tonight oh i'll help you walk through it babe don't worry it's gonna be fine we're good we're good um doo, doo, doo. Hmm. i can already tell you this will be a fun area too because the ring i can have be pure white and then the area in the background i can make a darker shade sorry Oh, you're good. Oh, Kandor just said, Marco Polo with the police. I see what a wild youth you had, Tim. The what? <laughs> Kandor says, Marco Polo with the police. I see what a, <laughs> what a wild youth you had. Literally, that's the only time I had, like, a wild uh, night experience. Well, thank oh, you, hello. Owl, my cat XD, for subscribing. Um, is there any way to donate more than $2 on here? Yes. Oh, you know what? I don't think I put in my my thing. Oh, Hold your on. donation link. Uh, thank you, Luca, for reminding me. Um, that I should put in here. <laughs> Danny says I leave to post in the Discord and come back to a cop story. Glorious. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? I'm gonna put that in the description really quick. <laughs> yeah, thank you for reminding me, Luca. Is there, is there not one built into the chat? What's this? Because that's going to be for the super chat. Oh yeah, could you test that really quick too? Sorry. We're testing things here. Oh yeah, this one works. We did this one last time. But I put a new emoji on. Or a new uh, GIF. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can just do $1. I'll pay you back. I, I think I can cover that. I'll pay you back. Oh, you think of something funny to write? I won't look. I'll be good. And for 
anyone wants to donate, I am putting the link into the comments right now. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the noise to pop up. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm going to work darker. So I'm going to switch to my HP pencil now. I'm going to do a quick sharpening. Oh no, my sharpener is not plugged in. Oh, oh, she. Oh, look. Hey. Oh, I just threw it away. So did that add to the donation goal? It didn't. See? Oh, that's right, because Super Chat doesn't. You yeah. have to manually do that. You have to, yeah. Oh, they need to build that feature to be integrated. Okay, it's gonna get really loud for a second. Sorry, guys. All right, I'm gonna get some more tea too. Do you want some of my tea? I'm still sipping on mine. My cold chaser. Well, Tim has his blueberry pie tea. <laughs> blueberry pie surprise. <laughs> Okay, so um, really quick. So I'm gonna switch to my HP pencil and this is where I can start edging things out and really pushing some of the values in darkness. And if there's any scratches that I wanna add on at this point, now I can add it. I try to work left to right, top to bottom to prevent smudging as much as possible, but you'll see I jump around and I don't even follow my own rules. So my advice would be to not jump around as much and to try to do that to avoid smudging, but you know, it just happens where you'll move around. Okay, it's all you schwa. Okay. Uh, Sai says, I love joining into this story. Um, <laughs> Marluk says, that doesn't sound like a good kid. <gasps> yeah, that doesn't. I swear I was a good kid. <laughs> I got good grades. I, I swear even like Tim's parents, even his siblings are all like, Tim was just so good. And I hear stuff like that, and I'm like, I don't know. Literally the only Something's time. going on that I don't know about. Well, and the, then the fear of God was put in me, because then I never... Like, I was I was good the rest of high school. That was the only time. You're kind of like, you just need to get in trouble to be like, okay. To, like, know where the boundary yeah. is. Some people keep pushing those boundaries. <laughs> I don't push the boundary. <laughs> Fem says, Did you push the boundary? Fem says, I want those stories made into little episodes of Life of Tim series. <laughs> I mean, I do have a lot of funny uh, things that have been having me, especially, I mean, not only the past like five years have been kind of nuts doing conventions, and some of the people you meet at those are crazy. But even in the house, there were some funny stories when like everyone was here, Sean, Tyler, Key, and the crew. Like There were some good times. Some wild times, for sure. <laughs> Oh, well, thank you, Belly Mouth. $11. Well, thank you so much. Oh, see, it got, see, that added to the goal. Oh, because it wasn't oh, yeah. Super Chat. Did it pop up? Yeah. Oh, it did. Okay, cool. But you know what? So My volume's too low. Well, thank you so much. We are on our way to getting a window uh, cat lounger. I'm going to put it right there so that Astrid can be in the background for some of the streams. If she decides to show up. She's been a little... Yeah, she's been maybe. moody. I don't know if she's just... Sad? I, I think know. she's sad, yeah. but I don't know why. I don't know either. She's just kind of having a bad day. Um, hang on, I'm trying to correlate the two comments together. <laughs> to collaborate the two comments together. I'm trying to collaborate the comments together here. Give me a second. All right. In regards to where we, the question that um, Astrid asked where we lived, um, Fem says, oh yeah, and they have grenade bells as security. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't ring the doorbell. <laughs> um, You'd be like, yeah, come on over, it'll be a blast. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Sorry, the older I get, ring the, the more dad puns just enter my brain, and I feel the uh, need to say them. The I'm thing like, is, like, this is quippy enough that it needs to be said. I feel like I'll just like do a joke, and then you have a way of just like expounding on it. <laughs> like Tim, stop! I just wanted to collaborate on the. <laughs> I can't even say it anymore. <laughs> Conglomerate on the joke. All right. <laughs> Anyways, next thing. <laughs> Jobs like anything. Carol, <laughs> Eric says Carol of the bells. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, stop! <gasps> 
<laughs> oh my <laughs> god, that's what I should name the character. Carol. <laughs> and then he'll come Carol. Carol the grenade. <laughs> oh, that'll be great. Oh my god. I have to make this character now. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> Why did I say things? Anyways, Lucas says, "Oh, Lucas says no problem. Gotta be able to see Astrid." Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, Astrid loves to be on stream. Sometimes. Sometimes. I mean, she sometimes she likes to sit on my lap. Oh, she's been going under that chair over there sometimes too. I don't know, but she's she's just not here right now. <laughs> um, Candor says, um, "I would like some tea, please." You have strawberry black tea by any chance? That sounds really good, though. No, actually, we don't. We don't have any uh, spring type teas because we, we got a to. bunch of fall and winter ones. Oh, we can go to Father. Well, I don't know if it's on that. I, mean, I don't know. If, uh, we'll see. But I like what was the one we got a berry tea last year to make an iced tea out of. That was so good. I like fruity teas more iced than I do warm, though. Same. Yeah, if I'm drinking a warm tea, I want it to have, like, a a winter texture. <laughs> you know what I mean? The note, That's just the... it just it has the, the high note of a winter breeze. <laughs> and then on its lowest, the, the dust of a snowflake. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm -hmm. And a little Santa's beard mixed in with it all. Mmm. I like to think that, um, well, I, okay, small story, kind of a side note. If any of you guys have seen American Vandal, watch season two and you'll understand why I make jokes about taste testing or like an official tea testers, because there's apparently an official way to drink tea and like taste it in its full richness. And it's like a weird, you have to like, you waft in the smell first. <laughs> I can't even do, I can't even do this without laughing. Oh my God. Well, it's just the entire scene when he was doing it. <laughs> then you're supposed to, like, put a sip in your mouth and, like, smack it on the top of your mouth. <gasps> and do, like, weird inhales. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to do, like, a, a lot of weird things with the tea. And, like, that's supposed to be the true way of tasting uh, the full flavor of tea. Or that could that totally... Aeration. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> it could totally be a joke, though, and I took that as valid. Like, that's exactly how it's supposed to be, but it's just a comedy show. But now you're like, this is how you're supposed to taste it. Yeah, now that's what I'm preaching. I'm like, I, have, I was learned from the internet of Netflix. <laughs> oh, my God. We can just go to Faba and have them give us a tester and just, like, in front of them be like... Imagine if we go to Faba on every sample... <laughs> I hope they have ever, uh, other customers in there, too. And I'm, like, in the corner, like... <laughs> <laughs> just, like... <laughs> as loud and obnoxious as you can. I need a different napkin for every single sample cup. And I can't reuse the same sample cup. I bring my own. I'm oh like, my oh, God. I brought my own ceramic samples. I don't want plastic touching my tea. You Do know I... what that does. <laughs> Have your clipboard with like the little notes you're taking as you're doing it. <laughs> Anyways. Um Okay, right, so I gave a pretty harsh outline to um the bell, and I'm gonna continue doing that outside, and then I'll work my way inside and then I'll finish it up, and that will be our bell for today. So yeah, sorry, I feel like we're this this one became more of a funny impromptu comedy stream, but <laughs> I feel like we're still learning things, right? Realistic bell. Realistic I'll draw bell. Warren middle texture. <laughs> People will click on this video in the future and be like, this was awful. I didn't learn anything from this. <laughs> I just learned how to not drink tea. No, this is, it's, no, I'm not saying it. Never mind. Can you Other than random? Yes. Because there's so much to the world that even drawing. Oh, Luca! Oh, Luca! Oh. oh my god, that means I have kid Astrid's thing. What oh was that say? Astrid, let me pet her once, so this is my thanks to her, and I love you too, too. Oh, thank you, thank Luca. You, Luca. You know what? Astrid. I find Astrid 
She'll, she should make a cameo. She may pitch Because her me. cap. <laughs> she comes in here just screaming. <laughs> like, here's our baby girl, Astrid. Well, thank you, Luca, though. That does mean a lot. I have to think of what new donation goal I want. Maybe like a plant to have in the background. Maybe I could plant something um, for you guys to see grow throughout the streams, kind of like my beans. Is there something specific that you guys want to see me plant that I could grow in the background? I could even grow like a strawberry. Well, fruit might be a little harder because of the lack of sunshine. But yeah, I don't know. I'd be give. I don't know. I'd be willing to give it a try. Oh, here she comes. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. She looks happy to be woken up from a nap. <laughs> oh, hi, baby. <laughs> Look how uncomfortable she looks. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Astrid. Hi. Do you want to say hello? Everybody? Good morning. Mm. So this is our cat, Astrid. She is wonderful. Mm. Hi. Good day. Astrid. Good day. Madame, good day. Oh, come snuggle. Oh, she's not very happy right now, but... Esther, you don't even know what you get. You get to right? have a window lounger. Like Everyone... the one in the front room. You love that thing. You got donations for it, Esther. You have no idea. <laughs> She's like, don't pawn me off so you can make money. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, let her smell the window, though. She might like that it's open. Oh, yeah. So she wants to be an outdoor cat so bad. She sits by our back wind or our back door whenever we have it cracked, and she'll just sit there for most of the day, just like watching the rabbits and the squirrels and the, the chipmunks run by. Once we get a fence in our backyard, I think we're gonna let her out maybe a couple times. It's just we live in a pretty there's a busy road near us, so I always get scared that she's gonna like get hit by a car. I just go to the worst case scenario. And I do love Astrid, and I think about most of her, but I think she is a little slow. So I think if she did cross the street, I feel like she would time it to get hit by a car. <laughs> Astrid's, yeah. Um, but I love her. Oh, Kander says strawberry black tea is my absolute favorite, and it tastes very cozy, surprisingly. Mm. That sounds good. We'll see. I mean, we'll see if we... Um, let Henry, you don't have to send us strawberry black tea. We're good. Because I think that place we know, we'll go to probably has some. I would think. I would hope so, because yeah. it's, it's spring here. Unless you have, like, a specific brand that you just really like. Oh, oh are they going to send us tea? Henry's like, now I feel like I should send you two some if I find it again. Oh, no. Yeah, honestly, if you just send us the the link to it, we could definitely find it our shelves and ship it to our shelves. So I don't want you spending money on shipping all the way from across the world. Marduk says that sounds too posh and pretentious. Just drink the tea. <laughs> Just drink the tea. That's how I, I mean, I kind of feel that way too. Yeah. But I also drink my tea cold. So I'm like the opposite oh, yeah. of what a true tea connoisseur would drink. It's, it's just so nasty to me that Tim will like leave tea steeping all, I'm not kidding you, all day and then drink it. So not even it's not even like room temperature anymore. It's just like below room temperature. It's ugh. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's like between yeah. Okay, really quick, I just want to show them. So the bell has some of these um, areas of like green paint. I'm gonna just represent those very lightly, as like little patches. <gasps> so when I'm doing this, essentially, like where's a good one? So I'll just a little darker than the. 2H, it's kind of hard to see. Let's get this closer. You can see how I'm just adding it. Ooh. Let me add a few more. Maybe that'll help see it. See how that instantly adds some of that wear and tear look? And I'm just doing that by making it a little darker and edging it out. So I'm going to do that everywhere. Actually, how much time do we have? Oh, I still have 40 minutes. Like, this is exciting because usually when I do a live stream, my end result isn't always the best. Uh, but this one, maybe because it's such a simple subject matter, and this couldn't be more in my comfort zone if it tried. I actually think I'm going to really like the result. I might even share this on Instagram. Like, here's a here's a bell, and it was a blast to draw. And I put a wink face and see if no one gets it. <laughs> 
Or I'll put Bell in quotes. <laughs> Fem says, so the advice is not following what you are doing, but following the spoken instructions. <laughs> yes, yes. The written word. <laughs> Astrid says, say hello to Astrid from me. Astrid. <laughs> <laughs> She's Astrid. Oh, she, oh gone. she went. She gone. Yeah. No, but I love that your name is Astrid. I don't know why I, I picked that name because I just... Well, there's a music artist I like that's named Astrid, but Tim says I picked it off of... Uh, do, oh, go ahead. Does, do a, oh, darn it. I was going to say, what does Astrid remind people of? Like, what movie? Oh, yeah. When you hear Astrid, what do you think of? I seriously think of How to Train Your Dragon every single time. Um, Alex says, oh, man, you fell in love with a bad boy. Why didn't you see the science? <laughs> He's a <laughs> renegade. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just, I'm shocked right now. I'm shocked and I'm odd. You should have seen no my Instagram idea. and ran. Right? Everything seemed all innocent and sweet, but then, you know, he was dodging in bushes and shoving alcohol in pool tables. I kind of made up for... I feel like I'm probably more the renegade in my early 20s than you were. Oh, absolutely. And then we both kind of just mellowed out now. Now we just basically hang at home and draw a crochet and knit play video games watch old movies right. my favorite thing to do now Kendra says um, I feel you on the death jokes not too far off for your age not too far off your age too same with dad jokes I'm full of them I can't help myself <laughs> well try to because Tim needs to also <laughs> <laughs> Tim I mean, your jokes are pretty good, but sometimes he just does... Yeah, it's the straight dad joke ones where it's like, Tim. You gotta do them. I can't even fake laugh at this one. It's just like... <laughs> I gotta do what I gotta do. Um, you know, they're they're fun for a bit, but when you have to live with them sometimes, it's like, Tim. <laughs> Tim, just stop. Just stop. But I guess I love you for them. Annoyance can turn into love sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> It's rare, but it happens, and it happened with you. So I'll take it. Oh, well, I'll take, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> um, Beggars cannot be choosers at this point. Kendra says, Tim and Schwa, the tea sniffers. <laughs> <laughs> Alex says, unfortunately, it's real. You do that to aerate the liquid so you get the aroma through the taste. <gasps> it is it real. It felt so extra when I was in barista training. That's pretty good. Because, yeah, you're real. probably getting, like, the full flavor of it, right? Because I feel like when you smell things, you can get the full flavor, but when you taste it... Oh, my gosh. Do you know how amazing that is that that is actually real? Well, I guess it gives us an excuse now. <laughs> now oh, Astrid's back. Oh, Astrid. She's like, wait, there's a window. <laughs> I think like, I got a little blanket there for her. I know, because it's so cold. Yeah. Even though it's spring, it's still pretty cold here in Wisconsin. I'll be right back. So I gotta catch up with this cup. Oh, actually, there's one right here. That's true. Do you want a blanket? Would you like a blanket? Well, don't scare her. <laughs> would, you, would you like a blanket? I sometimes feel like the witch from Spirit Away. Yubaba? Yubaba, yeah. Or Zaniba. The, the one that was far away. Oh, you're Zaniba for sure. But she's still a little threatening when she approaches you, but it's all in good it's all in good favor. That's straight come here. Or stand on the side of the window. I do have a blanket next to you. You're looking extra quiet lately. I'm so sorry. Okay. She can better on that blanket there though. But she's not gonna sit on it. What? No, I don't know. I try. She's covering up. <laughs> um, <laughs> Kendra that says comedy cat. stream is exactly what I needed today. Oh, well, good. But I don't know if you came here looking for comedy. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's not... We're even serious about everything so far. <laughs> I should have drank my tea, too. Yeah, we should have done the same time. Yeah. I should have planned better. I thought you were going to aerate it, so that's why I was, no. waiting, I was waiting for the aeration to start. 
Um, Kandor says, since Luca made the goal happen, maybe they could choose the plant for the background. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, were there suggestions on what plant? I asked them. Uh, um, Artzil says, grow catnip. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Right? Actually, that is a good idea. Because, wait, does that need a lot of sunshine or no? Mm-mm. I wouldn't think so. Catnip. I totally said no without really knowing. Catnip growing conditions. That was a very confident no, too. <laughs> they do best in full sun. <laughs> well, I mean, I could put it... I could put it in the window sealed. Or... It says they will tolerate part sun. Okay. I mean, Astrid loves catnip, so that would be perfect. Yeah, the only problem with my office is it's definitely not like a full sun room. It would have to be like partial sun. So I can't do any plants that need full sun. Oh, wait, I've got grow lights. There's there's specific... Oh, my God, this chair. Creakiest chair. Yeah, that is really um, creaky. There's light bulbs now that you can get that aren't just like the super red ones. They It still looks like normal lights, but it has a spectrum of the... Um, Oh, I forget what it's called. Like the UV. Yeah. Yeah. Where it, it it boosts red, but it doesn't look red. And you can get them specifically to help grow your plants. So we have one in the back room, and it really helps save some of our plants. I could totally put one either, or I could even put it in this corner. Oh, yeah. You know what? We'll figure that out. We'll figure I know. I have out. to figure out some little Astrid things to do for the background of mine, too. Mm -hmm. She decides to join. The thing is, we always get things for Astrid, but then she still, like, sleeps on the floor or... <laughs> Goes under a chair. Well, she does like the window loungers, though. Yeah, she likes the window lounge in the front, but I think it's because she can see everything going on. So that's why this one might work out for her. Mm -hmm. She could so watch birds and stuff. Um, the last thing that I'm going to do, so like when there's like probably 15, <clears throat> 10 minutes remaining, is there's little speck dots everywhere on the bell. And that I'm going to do very pointillism style. Then you'll see how that adds another level of uh, texture as well. Hmm. Amy says Alice loves cats. Oh. I feel like Oh, it'd be so cute to see a baby play with a cat. I feel like cats usually are normally are good with babies. I've heard like horror stories where cats will attack a baby. <gasps> but that's Seriously? yeah. But usually cats are really good. Because I know dogs are usually pretty excellent with babies. Yeah, they have that instinct to know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fem says, what about a jewel of desert grenade plant? <laughs> <laughs> is that a real plant? Well, I'm sure it is since you're suggesting it. <laughs> is it real? Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, those are pretty. Yeah, Josh, we, let's make a list of all the plants, and then I will see which one would work best for this room. Catnip, just number one. We'll put a catnip here. Put Jewel of Desert. <sighs> Amy says you should build a catio. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Wait, what's a catio? It's like a cat patio. <laughs> oh, that's See? wonderful. Here, I'll show you one. <laughs> Look at that. It's an outdoor oh, cat my gosh. Oh, that's actually pretty great. Astrid would love Astrid that. Astrid would love... She would be there all day. We would never see her. Candor says I want to send something sometime anyway, so no worries. But I sure will look it up for you guys. Oh, thank I mean, you, we'll Candor. Check tea, but yeah, even just yeah, send us the link to that. We'll give you a shout out on the stream when we drink the tea, done. <laughs> um, Sai so says, "How's your day been?" Uh, good. So far, it's been great. Yeah, it's been really good up until this stream, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been really good. I feel like we were just talking, you were saying today even too, how, like compared to last week where you were in a mental state with everything going on, oh, yeah. where you're at now, I feel like we kind of just worked through it all and 
So for those of you who don't know, basically coronavirus is affecting artists specifically that make their money from conventions. And since I make most of my money from conventions and since I hired Josh as a helper, our main source of income basically got thrown out the window. So we've been relying on online sales and uh, the Patreon and uh, I decided to really shoot back into getting into live streams and making video content again. And last week I was freaking out because I signed an exterior project that was a very expensive job because I have to replace the roof and the siding, new windows, new gutters. It was going to be a big project. So cons were going to help pay for that in the, the first part of this year and all of spring basically because we had like nine shows. And now that they're all canceled, we had to figure out what to do. So I was panicking, but then Josh called the exterior place and we got it postponed till next year or most of it postponed till next year. So now I feel better because I know we have some money saved up. We'll be able to last for a while, no problem. Um, and in a weird way, I feel like this is making me refocus and shift on what I want to do with drawing and uh, my day to day. And this has actually been really exciting. I, I enjoy doing live streams. I enjoy uh, doing video content for the most part. Sometimes editing, I'm not the biggest fan of, but I do enjoy making video content. And with, if this whole lockdown situation happened, I probably wouldn't have done any of this. So I'm, I'm trying to look at the, the, you know, the half, you know, or the, what is that? The cup half full scenario. Mm -hmm. and I'm trying to be optimistic through it. So now I'm just, I'm really enjoying it because there's nothing else I can do. It's out of my control what I have in my control, I'm going to make the best of it. And I think that's the only thing we can do right now. But I do feel for people that, you know, this is a big struggle time and they don't have money saved up. So I, I don't know. I feel bad for those, but hopefully if you come to the stream, maybe we can cheer you up a little bit. I'll let you know that you're not alone. And who knows, maybe that Trump thousand dollars will actually go through <laughs> and we'll all get a thousand dollars in the mail. Mm -hmm. She can spend it on whatever we want. <laughs> Josh gets a pina colada maker. <laughs> well, I had to buy it a $400 one because it said it's the best. I'm helping the economy. <laughs> um, you know what they say? Oh, Kendor says, you know what they say? Quiet waters are deep, deep and dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good way to say it. <laughs> Kendor says, we got to stick together with our dead dad jokes. <laughs> oh, gosh. Don't say it like that. <laughs> That is us keep coming back to these streams just for the great jokes. Guys, stop supporting those jokes. Stay strong, dad jokes. Stay strong. Stay strong. Kendra says, I mean, the sniffing makes sense since you are, when you are sick, you have no taste because your nose is blocked and stuff. Oh. Actually, you know what I, I'm thinking of now that we're talking about the dad joke? If any of you guys know the baby mean where it's like... <clears throat> I used to do that all the time when I was Tim like, I did something baby, right. Yeah. I am, I feel like that baby. When he's like, <clears throat> whenever I would beat Josh, what game were we playing? It was something so dumb. Um, I don't know. Probably well, thank you, Mario Nostra, Kart, or was for it, subscribing. Was it Mario Kart? Oh, or, actually, I um, the bell. Was it that watermelon game? Oh, that's right. Let me get the bells. Uh, yeah, I think it was. I think it was the watermelon game. So every time yeah, I would win, game. if I even if I won by a lot, I would always pretend like it was really close and like. <laughs> you hated it. I got so, so irritated. Much. <laughs> uh, I thought it was great. Renok says, "Lighthearted comedy and good oh. art is like medicine in this stressful time." Well, I thank you, Holly Mills. Hmm. And yeah, I hope that this is a little... I mean, that's why even with Animal Crossing, with Josh doing his Josh Plays games coming out on Thursday. Schwa Plays games. Schwa Plays games. Sorry. Sorry. Say sorry. it right. Say it right. Do it right. Get it right. Uh, I, you know, we're all in this scenario together. We're all, for the most part, a lot of us are in lockdown. So, like, let's make the most of it because there's nothing else we can do. And I've always been a person to believe in no, no point crying over spilled milk. And... Even though like last Thursday, I definitely was in a panic and I was freaking out. It didn't help me. The only thing it did help me was it pushed me to do like take action. So I was even telling Sean that the only way we can get through this is to take action and to find ways to get through it. And then you, you act upon those decisions. So maybe you're in like the planning phase of what you're going to do. Uh, just know that that phase doesn't last forever and it's necessary to move forward. Uh, before you take action because you don't want to just jump blindly into something 
you want to make it seem like you have a destination or a goal that is uh, achievable and then work towards that. No joke, Schwa, I actually like how this little bell turned out. Um. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and start drawing the little dots because I'm, I'm getting impatient here. Like, I'm ready. Oh, the little marks on them? So you see how there's like little dots everywhere? Yeah. So I'm just going to add those in. And you'll see the effect it gives. Oh, oh yeah. Candor says we should have an Astrid cam. I'm actually totally going to get that on my stream. I want Yeah, I feel like that would be good for your... Because then my yeah. cam will basically be her in the background. Yeah, because I can fit it on my little overlay thing too. I could just have a little camera with her <laughs> sleeping. Well, that's if... That's if she's But there. she's usually in that room that I'll be streaming in and that little door window clinger. So that's yeah, true. yeah, I could use my phone. You have to show me how you did that connect your phone thing because that's super cool. I could even make a YouTube tutorial about it and oh, then yeah. you could watch it. Josh was like, I swear to God, if you make me watch one of your dumb tutorials again. <laughs> <laughs> show me how to do it. Just tell me. <laughs> but yeah, if any of you are interested. Oh, well, thank you, Alex Sosa, for oh, subscribing. No. Man, I just, I love that gif. <laughs> I love the trio of Sora, Sora, Donald, and Goofy so much. Um, succulents is a recommendation from Alex. Oh, that's a good one. Very adaptable. I mean, you probably wouldn't see them grow too much. <laughs> I'd probably get them. Well, you can get those, you can get bigger ones at least so that they're, like, you can see them. Oh, that's true. I could do that. Yeah. I mean, I do like succulents. I always joke that, oh, oh, thank you. Is it C or Psy? Did we just say? I'm going with Sai. Oh, thank you, Sai. To new friends, and I am totally down to play some League tonight. Oh, Yay, or... let's do it. Yeah, I'm down. I yeah. play Zig's Bottom. I just I like to have fun with it now. I've I've gotten really good about not taking it seriously the past like month. But before that, I was, yeah, League can like get under my skin. It's the only game, literally the only <laughs> game I think can get under my skin. Because even when I lose in like Smash, because I'm not that good at Smash Brothers, I'm like, oh, all right, like I just kind of take it. I'm like, well, oh yeah, I'm not that good at Smash. I get it. But League, oh my gosh, gets so under my skin. But yeah, thank you, C, Sai, C, Sai, C, C, Sai, Sai, C, Sai, C, Sai. Thank you. We'll put that ten dollars then towards the next goal, which is the plant. Maybe I'll do like a a fifty dollar goal, so I'll just buy a, a bunch of different plants. Actually, one of the streams I should show me planting the seeds of a few of them. <laughs> Farmer Tim, ready to stream. Here we go. <laughs> That's actually cute. <laughs> <laughs> right? Not that bad. Um, <laughs> there are succulents that look like bunny ears, too, Alex says. That'd be cute, little bunny oh, ears. Oh, that'd be much. perfect. I'm going to put succulents and then bunny ear ones. <sighs> There's also, Fem says there's also a Camellia Freedom Bell plant. Hang on. Let me look that up. That sounds cool. Yeah, I've never heard of that one. At least by name, I haven't heard of it. Ooh. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's pretty too. Yeah, I heard all that. Yeah. I'd like some live flowers behind me. Kendra says, since you, meant, since you mentioned online sales, do you remember you, your Flower Boy warm-up drawing I love so much? Will you make a um, limited edition print of it? I mean, I could. You said you thought about it back then. Well, so I think what we're going to start doing, or at least is it small or large? Small? Small. Uh, I, I think we might put an Etsy, a new Etsy store item that would be small print, literally any image from my Instagram. Because we can make it into a print pretty easily. Uh, we, you just got to tell us which one you want. So if you actually do want that as a print, we can make that happen. Just DM us on Etsy, on, yeah, on Etsy and then we could make that happen. I mean, then it would be super limited because you'd be literally the only one with it uh, ever. Even I don't have prints of it. Well, obviously. I, I never understood why art is, I mean... I don't know. This could just be personal taste, but I just don't like when artists hang up their own art on the wall. It just seems very strange to me. I'm like, are you influenced by 
Are you like, are you most inspired by yourself? I mean, I guess you can be inspired by what you've done, but I always look at artists that I want to achieve to be, you know, to be better. Uh, to, I look at their stuff and be like, that's amazing. I need to step up my game to achieve that. Like the only thing I have up, well, I do have my Alan Williams original, but it reflects the light, unfortunately. See, look. Oh yeah. So I can't put it behind me. <laughs> then I have this gorgeous painting. How did I hang this? You do sticky. T- oh <laughs> yeah, do not. <laughs> I'm not pulling that. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, and then I do have this little. Someone made me a dirt kid. Mm-hmm. At the last con that we went to, they wrote a really cute note. So that was that was really nice. Mm-hmm. So actually, we I have a bunch of fan art of um, some of my drawings and my characters in our bedroom. I'm gonna bring those down. And I'm gonna make a wall of um, things that people send me. So I'll show that off on the stream eventually when I get that down here. Lucas says, um, Hoya plants are really pretty and not toxic to uh, cats. They're also really durable, as well as most ferns. I'm partial to ferns myself. They're so pretty and easy to take care of. Yeah, ferns are great. Yeah, definitely with cats, too. That's something that we need to be careful with, too, is just making sure. I mean, Astrid's pretty smart most of the time. Because we do have, what's the one? Snake plants apparently are, come to potentially be bad for cats. And she's thankfully not touched that one we do have. Yeah, she hasn't touched that one. Definitely, yeah. If you have pets, be careful what plants you get because they could be toxic. That's very true. It's something I never thought about before we had a cat uh, living at the house. <laughs> Belly Nald asks, what's the image on your mug? Oh, so there are images that are two of our mods for our Discord, which you can join below, made. So this is a pig, flying pig with a crown. This one was done by Tijel. And then this one is a Looks like, I want to say, a bearded ram or bearded goat. I'm not too familiar with my animal terms. Um, but this one was done by Corey. Mm-hmm. And he's in the chat as well, I think. So, yeah. Um, Bookstuff says we're all in this together on High School Musical Trash. I literally, <laughs> as soon as he said that in my head, we're all in this All you have to say is we're all in, and immediately that song starts playing in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Or same with the uh, get your get your head in the game. <laughs> I say that to some of my friends all the time, but they they don't appreciate it. <laughs> Whenever they ask me a question, if they're feeling down, I'm like, you just gotta get your get your head in the game. Get your, like, get, your, get your head in the shut game. Shut your mouth. I mean, Tim and I didn't really have Disney Plus that long, but we did actually keep it long enough to watch that High School Musical the series. No, it's High School Musical the, musical, musical the, the series. series. Yes, which was. First episode was I was like, oh, this has potential, and then it never reached it. But we kept holding on, hoping. We did. Well, that's because it's kind of like background noise. It's not like you kind of go into it being like, I don't expect much from this, <laughs> but it's lighthearted and it's easy. I mean, it's kind of like any like Parks and Rec or The Office or Thirty Rock. It's the shows that you can kind of listen to that you don't have to pay full attention to. Oh, I love The Office and Parks and Rec. <laughs> And I love 30 Rock. So it all worked out. It works out. Um, Candor says, fun fact, I got Kingdom Hearts 3 here. We have a, an official physical PlayStation store and went to play it and it turned out to be all nice. Japanese. So no idea what the story is. Still good, though. <laughs> to be honest, no one knows what the story <laughs> is. So you're good. You have tried to explain it to me a few times, and I feel like you get confused uh, why you're trying to explain it, so then I'm just even more confused at that point. I just just play the first one. I mean, the third one actually is fun to play, but story-wise, it is kind of an eye roll, to be honest. Okay, so Sai's name is Simon. I feel like I knew that, too. So that's easier. Oh, also, that's I totally easier. get that. It gets under my boyfriend's skin all the time. Are you talking in regards to the dad jokes? Because... <laughs> Josh feels, yeah. There's that limit. I'll play around with it for a bit. I feel like I give in to them, don't I? I play along with it. Yeah, you yeah. normally do. I give I you that satisfaction. You never... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you definitely do that. I think that's why me and Sean were good friends, because he kind of just enables me to continue. Oh, on. yeah, I just like, I set them up for you, basically. It's what I'm here yes, for. Yes, kind of. I mean, Sean definitely sets me up more because he's specifically doing it. I feel like you sometimes walk into it 
and I like I capture the moment, but then you're always like grown. <laughs> Like, you kind of wish you didn't say what you just said. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, yeah, Shirt says you should totally do a gardening live stream. I spent my whole morning getting plant beds ready for spring. Yeah. yeah. I think definitely this summer we'll do some stuff, too, like out in the garden. We can stream while we're working I wanted there. to do a whole vlog because my sister was like, that's my favorite part of what you do. I was like, what about the drawing <laughs> stuff? She's nope. like, yeah, that's fine. But she's like, your green stuff, that's what I'm most interested in. I feel like, like people right. like getting in touch with the earth again in that kind of way. <laughs> can... Get in touch with the earth. We'll help you get in touch <laughs> with yourself. <laughs> this is Schwab. That's conglomerating. That's no, what that's it's all about. That's not conglomerating. Get out of here. Um, Kandor says, I would love that so much about the print, or maybe you're looking into selling it <clears throat> to a very full hearted mod. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, of course. I think we just have the original sitting in the originals film box. Are you talking about the one that I did a time lapse on YouTube for? Because I'm pretty positive we still have that one. Yeah, I don't know if I can place that one at the moment. Uh, Lucas says, you talking about folks singing up their own art reminds me of the golden fridge talks. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. So for those of you who don't know and why one of the emojis, actually, could you um, show some of the fridges? Oh, yeah. So the golden fridge emoji, the story behind it is when I was a kid and actually pretty much my entire time at my parents' house, I never really had my own art on my parents' fridge. It was like a unsurmountable challenge that I could not get on my parents' fridge with anything I drew. So I made a golden fridge. I made a physical golden fridge for the community back when I did Twitch streams. And then people would send me magnets of their art or what they've done. And then I would put it on my fridge as a way to like, hey, you made it on the fridge <laughs> because I myself could never make it on the fridge. So that is why one of the emojis for I think the, the members can use it right now uh, is a golden fridge. That would be something I could bring. I still have the golden fridge downstairs. I could put it somewhere uh, in this room. I could even put it behind me like on that. <laughs> And then if people want to send me magnets on the front. fridge behind you. No, it's a small, it's like, have you seen it? I don't think so. Oh, I literally spray painted a metal sheet and I cut the edges off and then I put cardboard um, handles on it and then painted black the edges. Where is it in the basement? I'll have to show you. How have I not seen that? Yeah. Um, Julia says, I like to put up my own artwork when it's particularly significant to my art journey. Helps me remember how far I've come and keeps me motivated. Oh, wait, that's a good reason. Yeah. I like that. Because I, I feel like I don't want to throw Ross under the, the bus, but I saw a video of him and he had an entire wall dedicated to his art. And that's the only art that he hang, hung at his studio. And I was like, I mean, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It just, it, it maybe I, I just don't get it. I can understand that though, what you just said, like hanging up a personal piece that you felt was like a. A milestone in your your journey, so that I, that I get, yeah, that I get. It's like a good mark of that. Um, Kendra says, since we talk about toxic cats, do you know that grapes are to grapes are toxic for dogs? Yes, actually, I did because I had a I dog growing up, and they my dog ate one of the grapes, and we uh, had to take her in or take her in. That's terrifying. Yeah, I remember my dog ate like an entire Hershey bar. And survived, and she was a Yorkie. <laughs> Actually, that's surprising. Yeah, she lived. Okay, I say let's. We're gonna end off the stream soon. So if you have any last minute questions, I would ask them now, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, end the stream. And I guess while you guys are asking questions, let me just point out. So this was the whole point of the stream today was to talk about how to draw a worn metal surface. A lot of it is a combination of cross hatching or just normal hatching mixed with small circles to create your gradations. Since this is a metal surface, you see how I have like, I don't know how to best represent this. There's basically lines. So I start off with a highlight line on the edge and then there's a line of value. And then there's a larger area of a lighter value and then a larger area of a darker value. And then highlight, dark, and then rim light. So when you're doing metal surfaces, you wanna just throw in a bunch of contrast and values that are butt up right against each other. 
and that gives the illusion of um, a metal surface on a cylindrical object. Now on the top of it, I was able to kind of buff it uh, a little bit more because technically this is more of a sphere shape. If you're cutting off the bottom half, then you start shading it like a, the top half of a sphere. So the highlight would be around here and then it would get darker and then the bounce light on the edge. So this goes back into the fundamentals of art that every object can be broken down into four basic forms, which are the sphere, cylindrical, cone, and cube. And basically if you can figure out what object is what, you can then render it in that category. So that's kind of my mindset. I should have told, talked about that uh, when I was doing the shading part, but that's how I render everything is I break it down into one of those forms. And then on top of that, I just threw in a bunch of texture and threw in highlights where it was necessary. And that's what creates the illusion of form and depth when drawing with pencils. So I, I do hope this helped out. Uh, and I know that the stream kind of got off topic, maybe maybe once or twice, but I think it was a good time. And I feel that that's what I'm going to continue doing with these streams. And I know Josh will be doing with his is we're just going to, you know, get through this tough time together and keep it fun, keep it lighthearted and do the best that we can because that's we're in lockdown. There's nothing better that we can do besides have a good attitude through it. Um, I'm make the spring look better. Fem says, only have one work of myself on the wall. First 3D image I made two years before I started my 3D study. It was the study of my road of realizing my dream of studying it and working in the industry. Oh, see, that I like. See? Those are yeah. all like good reasons, yeah. Don't feel ashamed for that. I think, you know what, I, I take back what I said instead of hanging up your own art. I think hanging up a whole wall of your art. That's where it was like, that strange. Because I know I've definitely hung out, hung up, hung up my always on my mind original for a while behind me because that oh, yeah. one meant so That's much to important me. one to you yeah so, okay i do understand that um simon says dad jokes in league <laughs> oh god maybe your boyfriend can come on simon just so <laughs> help balance it out a little bit <laughs> um, <laughs> alex says we have a poster at the vet i work at common toxic things for cats our artificial sweeteners. I can never pronounce the actual thing for that. Advil, dark chocolate, oh, little yeast, etc. No, it's xylitol, I think. Oh, if I say it, xylitol. I don't know what that is. Um, Candor says, I think it's someone with a time lapse in reference to the flower. I can link you later. I love it. If you could put this on hold for me, Tristan needs a friend. <laughs> oh. And Fem says, now we want to end up in Tim's golden fridge. <laughs> Just doing a Which is very possible. All you have to do is send me a piece of your work. Preferably a magnet, but I could easily, I have my own magnet, so I could put them up too. But they have to be small, because <laughs> the fridge is very small. The fridge is only literally like this big. <laughs> I guess I could make a new one. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. Okay, yeah, I think I'm done with the bell. Um, Amy was asking if you could just zoom in a little bit on it too, if you're able to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just give a little... I know sometimes okay. it looks so much better after I put it on YouTube. Well, that oh, I know it's gonna be direct now. shadow. Yeah. Here, wait. Oh, you know what I can do? Hold on. I can hold it up. Okay. Where am I looking? There we go. So yeah, here is our little textured bell. <laughs> Now, usually when I'm doing a character or something a little more complex, it's the same type of steps where I'll try to have clean line art and then I'll fill in the values and then I'll do detail and texture on top of it. And this is just a very small scale version of my process. So you can kind of see how it looks. And even from here, if I really wanted to edge it out and make it look cleaner, I could do it. Like even the ring, you can tell I could make it a little cleaner. But for the most part, I'm gonna call this one done. And I think you can kind of see the difference then between the first bell and this bell, where this one I think has obviously more character, there's a story to it, and especially with how worn and uh, torn it looks, it's what was this bell used for? Was it outside? It definitely implies that it was outside, and with that comes the element of earth and rain, and uh, that's how it will wear and tear even more. And that's why I always just enjoy seeing when uh, artists take the extra step to do something with more character when it could have been so simple and original or simple and uh, kind of boring, honestly. 
And that's why this past October, I, I was looking for pumpkin paintings because I want to draw my own pumpkins. And, you know, there's, you know, very typical looking pumpkins with just a little stem and, you know, pretty perfect looking pumpkin. But then I found so many cool ones where they are very lumpy, giant, misshapen pumpkins. And then their stem, they let the stem be really long and then they shaved off where they ripped it off the vine. So then created all these curly, cool uh, stem ripoffs. And it was just so much more intriguing and interesting to look at visually that I think about that a lot when I'm drawing and how could I make this more interesting. And usually it just comes down to don't go with your first um, idea or don't go with your first thought of what something could be. Try to take it to the realm of um, elevation. You know, give it something that makes it more interesting. And you can do the same thing with characters too. It could be something as simple as how you part their hair, maybe a little accessory that you add into it. Or uh, I guess the best example would be what the character wears best describes the environment that they are in and how they interact with it. So think about those things and hopefully this helped you guys um, with future, specifically with metal, worn metal uh, textures. All right, last minute question? Yes, we have last minute questions. Okay. Luca asked, do you have, still have any of those? Oh, thank you, oh, Joel. Hello, Samoa Joel. Smart to you. Oh. <laughs> um, um, do you still have any of the golden fridge pins? I forgot to ask about it. <clears throat> the, if I was in it, the years, terrible time perception ago. I think I still have all of them. Out. I was going to say, I think I see them. Yeah. Yeah, I still have all of them. So let us know, because next time we oh, see you. Oh, you mean like the enamel pin? Yeah. I oh, know I do have the enamel pin. Right? Yeah. Oh, I should make new fridge enamel pins. Okay, we're going to put that on the idea board. <laughs> Candor, I love you. Just killing me with the dad jokes. But you know what? You just be you and be happy. I'm happy about it. <laughs> are there any other questions? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, it's like, are you having a conversation with yourself? <laughs> Um, Alex asks, I see you tend to make dipped areas lighter than darker. What other stylistic choices do you make? Oh, so if there's any two objects that intersect, like this is my right finger, I'll make the edge of my right finger darker and then underneath I'll draw this lighter. So whenever I have things overlapping, I always have the object that is on top be darker. And that's just a simple, easy way to show contrast and kind of separate the two forms. Is that all of them? That's all of them. Okay. Yeah. Hey, then we're going to end right on time. This was perfect. All right. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for coming to this live stream. I'm going to be doing these specifically tutorial based ones every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Central Time. And I'm going to be having more fun, free form ones throughout the week. And specifically tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a mermaid one. So if you want to come watch me start a mermaid pencil drawing. And then Friday, I'm going to be working on my King of Hearts. Uh, drawing that I'm, I'm going to pencil and then flip and mirror. But I won't be doing that part on the stream. I'll be doing the pencil part on the stream. And I'll talk about the process of making a card deck if you want to make your own. Uh, and I think that's all. That's Oh, you can join the Discord below. I'll usually post most of the announcements. We currently have a Discord emoji contest going on. And one of the emojis that win will actually be used on YouTube. So your emoji that you make could actually be one of the ones that the community gets to use on these YouTube live videos. Uh, I think that's all I got. Do you have any? Oh, uh, Josh will be starting his stream oh, tomorrow yeah. night. Uh, Schwa plays games on YouTube. So if you want to watch some Animal Crossing launch videos, uh, he'll be doing that all weekend. And I'll be joining him on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So you can see my little character run around his town. Mm -hmm. I think that's all I got. You got anything to say? Mm -hmm. You got any goodbye? No, just thank you, everyone. It was so fun with everyone today. It was so it's fun conglomerate. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, as much as I hate on the dad jokes, you got to appreciate them. Mm -hmm. Where are we at with the citrine? Uh, still got a ways to go. So you can see we still got a lot of candle. I still don't see the rock. So eventually we'll get there. <laughs>